explain what's happening. Well, then what's happening here, Gary? Well, what, what's happening here is after everybody's played golf, yeah. um, Richard does a, a draw. Yeah. Uh, how does the numbers work, Rich? What they do uh, from the, play, the players list, we number them down. So 1 to 44 of us are participating this week. So they all get assigned a number against their name. And then I pull one ball away after the round, and whoever that corresponds to is a proud winner of 50 euro. All right. A lot of people who come here don't look like they need 50 euros, though, do they? They, they don't. To be honest with you, the Belgians have all got a lot of money. Um, and welcome to States, over the last eight years, we've been sponsoring them now. We're more friends than yeah, anything yeah. else. But you do it anyway, this... Uh, we, do, we, this. Do it, we do it anyway. It's just something that adds a bit of fun to the day. But the important thing is, whoever wins this gets drawn out. They have to have the Welcome Estates circular disc, yeah. which everybody is encouraged to carry in the first hole wallet. You know, the strap line on the back of there is, um, hold me in your purse or wallet, I am money for old roll. The reality is, and we've had it happen, you know, somebody wins, and they haven't got the disc, I don't earn the money. Oh, right. That's the win, that's the win <laughs> too. So you end up keeping the 50 bangers then, do you, Gary? Well, we, no, well, no, we draw it out again. No, no, no. We, we, we do a Belgian major, which every year is, yeah. the, um, is the major for the full 12 months. They yeah. have one. Uh, in some societies, it's a, it's a captain's day, but with these, they yeah. call the Belgian major. We have a giant trophy, it's played for it every year. And the funny thing was, we only brought this in this year, and we had 100 audience all holding this disc up in the air. Never. Richard's drawing this out and because they were all like making the they were saying, We've got the disc because they knew if you didn't have it, yeah. they didn't earn the money and we did that for hundred didn't we? Hundred yeah. euros. And first one hundred. The lucky winner got one hundred euros. Uh, so this is after today when the results are all in and this is just part of the presentation. Tell you what, some life out here, isn't it? Yeah. Does anybody know how to walk by a buggy? This is Peter. Yeah. Right, and he is one of the main men <laughs> in the Belgian golfers club. I'm only the handicap master. He, he, yeah. he, he, oh, look at this. He's the handicap master. Yeah. That means if, if there's any bandits in the club, he sorts them out. Yeah. yeah. But it's Bandit. very important part. Um, tell us what you do, Peter. Uh, Counts money, I bet. Yeah. 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 So we, every week we play on a different course and before we can play on a different course we have to make stock sheets. So I do that. I also uh, sort out uh, the handicaps whether they, for the new members, whether they are uh, having a real handicap or no. And, and adjust the handicap if necessary. But overall we, we uh, we, we work together as a team and wherever I can help or anyone else can help, we, we, we join our efforts so we can, we can work smoothly and have a new game every week. It's hard work isn't it? It's growing and growing isn't it? Getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> yeah, what's happening with the split? What, what's that all about? What's the, what's the two? Yeah, b because of uh, our group growing larger and larger every, uh, every month, we had to sort to, to find another uh, course because we already had more than 20 people in the reserve list. Oh, that's so another one, yeah. So we've got these blue tops on. We decided, we decided to uh, offer a second, a second course, and that's the work of Rick, our captain. This is Rick, Rick Crab, and he yeah. is the captain of the Belgian Golfers Club. How are you doing? All right, this is Russell Hartley. Um, Russell has a YouTube channel oh. with one million views per month. 
And he's here today. Very good. Videoing our Belgian golf club. Just telling him what we're all about, what we do. Oh, that's very nice. Peter's just explained um, his role. What's your role, Rick? I'm the captain. I try to organize uh, every event, yeah. every golf course, every uh, way of competition. Yeah. So, uh, and when there is a discussion, they ask me uh, some rules oh, yeah. about golf. You're like hardcore golf golfers, aren't they, Gary? You know, like you have hardcore boxing fans. You just love golf, you lads, don't you? Yeah. You play every day, you go around all courses, don't you? We play every Friday. Every Friday you play here, yeah? Not here. On different courses between between Alicante and between Murcia. Yeah. Costa Blanca. Costa Blanca, right? On Brilliant. 20 different courses. And how many members have we got now, Rick? We have about 350 members. And uh, we play regularly now with uh, more than 48 every week. Every week. Because uh, we had reservations last year for 36 people we have to add for this month a second course to fill up with the reservas uh, we don't uh I don't think we do a million views a month. I think Gary's got that mixed up. We do three million impressions a month, but we don't do a million views. But, uh, so I'll just correct that, what he's just said in there. <laughs> but uh, well, if you like golf, I mean, these some of these old boys that are coming here, I mean, look at some of these clubs that they're using here. You just leave them anywhere, I mean. This were where I live. I mean, if this were Crook Hill Golf Club now, that would be gone. Them buggies would be burning around village. But nobody seems to be like that here. Alata Al Owner, Alta Owner, Alta Owner Golf Club. It's in Spain somewhere, I don't know where, about 40 mile drive from Alicante or 40 minutes or something. I don't know, it's all a bit different for me this, but uh, I'm, I suppose I'm enjoying it. It's nice to go out of your comfort zone, isn't it? But I don't know note about golf at all, but I'm, I'm not bad at ball games, but I don't know about golf. I don't even know if I'm going to have a game. Uh, Golfing for me, I like snooker, pool, boxing and football, that's it, and cricket. But, you know, it's something that I could get involved with, but I couldn't see me saying going around golf courses all day. Uh, but I suppose it's alright if you retire, isn't it, I suppose. And a lot of these people that come here, looking at it, and I've been here ages now today, but... earning about and that, but uh, a lot of these that are coming here, it's obviously it's welcome estates, day today in it a charity event or whatever it is and they're doing like a lottery thing and it's all good stuff in it for promotion for Gary's company and that uh, it's all new to me but uh, is it fast that buggy love is it fast your buggy is it quick yes yeah good you're a good driver <laughs> But yeah, it's okay there, yeah. Okay. But I'll, I'll stay here. Yeah, all right. Uh, I'll be well. A group of Belgian people from uh, 44 people. Yeah, yeah, so you've come we for Welcome Estates Day, haven't you? Yes. All okay. right, you have a good day, love. Thank you. Go steady in that buggy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I think I seen her earlier getting out of the Bentley. This, was what happened. this must be what happens. When you get to this age, even women are playing golf now. It's unbelievable, isn't it? Okay. Well, we're joined by Gary, Mon, Mon, and, and Mika. Mika, and where are you from? Belgium, aren't you? Yes. Yeah. Have you do you live in Spain? Uh, most of the time. Yeah. yeah. And you like golf, don't you? Yes. Are you a good player? Me no much. Yeah. And how did you meet Gary? Well, we we, we met playing in the uh, anniversary. We uh, are. Where we all live is La Finca Golf Course. Yeah. And we were playing in the anniversary golf. Um, yeah. Once a year, they, from opening, they have an anniversary. And, and you get, like, you can win, like, a free golf membership or six months golf membership. Yeah. And Mika happened to be in my four ball. Yeah. Um, and I, I, I helped her to victory. I, I became her coach on the day. And uh, she finished second and got six months free. Um, membership and from there we became friends and I didn't know who they were at the time but yeah. uh, Mon is the president of uh, this golf society and founder, Nika is the treasurer and co-founder yeah. and uh, 
It's been friends ever since. It's more, bit, more, it's more of a friendship, isn't it? And they just said, uh, well, what do you do? Yeah. And I said, oh, we've got an estate agency on the thing up. And I said, yeah, we'll provide you with T-shirts. And it's just gone from strength to strength every year. Yeah, let's have a look at your T-shirt. Have a look. Yeah, not bad that, is it? That's a nice T-shirt, that. Yes, Suits you, doesn't it? Okay. Who's best golf player out you all, then? Uh, Gary. Gary? Yes, yeah. That's pretty modest about that, Gary. I'm just a mere 18. 18 handicap, yeah. Is that good, yeah, in golf no, terms? No. no. Some people say that you're not really a golfer until, until you get to 18. Yeah. I don't know whether that's true or not. Yeah. Um, so I just about made it into the, into the, into that band. Um, but really difficult, you know, I'm trying trying the short game all the time now because that's the only way for me to get down any further because my long game is just what it is. Never is that why it. you've got that net at home and all that and that putting thing and that, yeah? Yeah, most people say um, drive for show, put for dough <laughs> is what they say. Yeah. And, and, and I used to say to people, hang on a second, what about if you can't get to the green in the first place? Yeah. Then isn't the driving important then? Which it is, yeah. But yeah. most people you're talking to are golfers, and yeah. when it gets to that end, it's about short game onto the green, and can you put it down in one? And you can knock 18 shots off your game if you can move from two putting to one putting. Yeah, yeah. And which is best golf course that you've played on in Spain, Mika? I, for me, prefer my home terrain. And my home is La Finca Gold. La Finca, yeah, so you prefer it there where you live, yeah. And how far is that for me, Because that's where your place is, isn't it? It's 35 minutes. 35, 40 minutes, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 All right then, and, and which is your favourite place? Is that La Finca as well? Yes. Yeah. La Finca. Yeah. La Finca. Do you ever play against each other at golf to see who's <laughs> the best? <laughs> okay. Well, Mon, Mon, Mon doesn't Mon is, play as much now. Mon, uh, he don't play. Oh. No. Uh, three years is in operation and. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He oh. comes with me for all the things that he are uh, for support. And yeah. I come away with support and guests oh. and, and everybody. Yeah.